And I think it's right, the first thing we probably talk about is Carl McGregor. He took a really nasty facial injury on Saturday night. First of all, how is he after that? Uh, I think he's, you know, he's better today. He wasn't in great shape um, straight after the game. You know, there's obviously the, the injury and it probably had a, yeah, had a slight concussion as well. So he wasn't in a great shape, um, but yeah, um, exchanged messages with him uh, yesterday and uh, he feels a bit better, which is, uh, which is, which is great. And, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, yeah, his recovery doesn't take too long. At the time, there was bruising that just came out on his face almost immediately. I think we all feel the worst. Were, were you in the same boat? Yeah, you always do. I mean, you know, and knowing that the type of um, character that, that Callum is for him to stay down and to be fair, he didn't go all the way down, you know, you could see he was, you know, trying to stay up because, um, you know, he's, he's as brave as they come. Um, so for him to come off on you was something significant. Adeguchi was also on the receiving end of a pretty nasty challenge as well. How was he coping after after that injury? Yeah, not great. Um, you know, I think I said after the game didn't look too serious, but to be fair, that was, um, you know, I didn't really get a good look at him. But uh, yeah, no, it, it, it was a terrible tackle and one that should have been addressed by the referee on the day. Um, but um, yeah, he hasn't come out of it too well, and uh, you know, he'll be missing for a little bit as well. He's still pretty painful now. Um, you know, again, I know the kind of character he was for him to, to stay down and come off. Um, you could see him trying to jog off. I knew it was significant. I was optimistic it wasn't anything too bad. But, you know, as everyone saw in the footage, uh, to tackle should never have happened and should have been addressed on the day. Obviously, the draw was made on Saturday night after the game. It's from all your opponents. It's Wraith Rovers who we faced in the League Cup. I suppose after Saturday night you'll be, you'll be glad to get home tie in front of the Celtic fans in the next round. Yeah, I think it's important, um, you know, particularly when you, when you get sort of uh, drawn against the you know, clubs uh, from the lower leagues. Um, you know, there are challenges there. Uh, the pitch wasn't great, um, you know, um, in the last round, obviously, and uh, against Alloa. And they're the kind of things you want to try and avoid, um, just not from a performance point of view, but just you know, from protecting our players, um, because you know you, you can get things like injuries we got on on the, in the last round. So the fact that it's at home, I think, in front of our supporters and on our pitch, um, I think is, is, a, is a good advantage to us. Looking back on the game as a whole, you said before the game the main objective was to get through, but a positive, of course, from Yakimakis getting on the score sheet and getting back in the goals after a period on the sidelines. Yeah, it was good for him and more importantly good for him to get 90 minutes. Um, you know, he's obviously had an interrupted first half of the year and um, but he's worked awfully hard, uh, you know, during this uh, period between uh, you know, between games. Um, you know, we gave most of the guys a week off but he, he stayed here at Lennox Town with quite a few of the other boys and put in the work and um, he got through the 90 minutes and he got through it pretty strong. Uh, he said scored his goal, which was good. So, um, yeah, it's a good sort of foundation for him. Another um, goal scorer on Saturday night was Lee El Abada. That's 11 for the season, eight assists. Probably doesn't get the credit outside of Celtic that he should, but that's an impressive first season at Celtic by any means. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't think he'd be phased about you know, whether he gets um, the credit or not. I think he, the good thing about Lee El is um, the only feedback he needs and seeks is from us and, and from me and you know that's why I keep selecting him because uh, yeah you know, there's areas he, he still needs to improve but that's what he wants to do but in terms of effectiveness as you said for a winger um, you know, he's played one game through the centre for us so he's got a tremendous goal and assist output and you know he's one who you know we continue to encourage and develop. Moving on from the Alloa game it's Hearts at Tyne Castle on Wednesday night another Big game with a big atmosphere. What's the feeling in the camp going into this one? Yeah, looking forward to it. I just said another another big game, and they'll they'll come thick and fast from now on, and um, that's great. I mean, we want to play in these big games. Um, you know, it'll be a great atmosphere Wednesday night. Again, it's it's a good stadium, good pitch. Um, they're a good side, so you know, I think everyone's looking forward to it. It was unfortunately a, a loss there on the opening day of the league season. Do you look at that game to learn anything from it, or has there been such an evolution in your Celtic side? since it's a totally different game. It's the fourth time we play them, so yeah, no, I, th I think that first game is a little relevance uh, for either side, to be fair. Uh, so, 
I think for us what's more important is we, we keep looking ahead to the next um, challenge for us and that's Wednesday night and we keep trying to improve our football and improve uh, the areas we need to improve in but at the same time you know, we've maintained a really good consistency in performance and results over the last uh, three months or so so um, we just want to continue that. Rogic and Maeda will be missing and they're on international duty and we wish them all the very best but is this a chance for others such as Matt O'Reilly and Rayo Hatate to come back into the team and impress? Yeah, they don't need to impress. I mean, you know, we, we've brought them in because we think, you know, they're, they're, they'll be comfortable and, and we'll be able to contribute in our setup. And, um, you know, Rayo's already sort of had uh, that taste and I'm sure Matt will get his taste over the next couple of games. And, um, yeah, that's why we brought them in. We think they can help us. And as you said, we've got a couple missing international duty. Obviously, you know, we've got some uh, a couple more injuries out of the last game, so that's why we need a squad. And um, you know, those guys and others will, will get their opportunity. We've spoken to all the new signings since they've come in. They all have this air of humility about them, other than being excellent footballers, no doubt as well. Is that a characteristic you look for in in your signings, Ange? Yeah, I think uh, you know, I've, you know, I've said many times, you know. You, you're signing, you're bringing people into this environment, not just, they're not players, they're people, and uh, who they are as a person is important to me, and um, you know, the values they have. Uh, you know, I'd like as much as possible to be aligned to the, to the values of this football club, and um, you know, you mentioned humility and, and empathy, and they're you know, big parts of the values of this football club, and um, you know, I think that's what we try and match up. I think it, it, it works better for both parties, and. Uh, you know, certainly the lads who have come in, not just in this window, but in the last window, are contributing to having a, a really strong sort of team culture here, which is important. And just finally, we are in the, the last week of the, the transfer window. Do you anticipate any further movement or are you happy with the, the shape of your squad? Oh, look, we, 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 we stay alert, we stay agile. Um, there still could be some things that, that happen and um, you know, we're still looking for loans for a couple of our younger players. So, um, you know, I'm sure there'll still be um, some activity between now and the end. Um, you know, how, what sort of activity that is and what it is, um, we'll just you know, see how it all develops. But you know, from our perspective, <clears throat> our planning has you know, gone to plan so far, gone to schedule so far, and um, you know, hopefully that continues till the end of the window.